Well, the funny thing is, um, when Tim was supposed to arrive, um, another person, um, you know, I had mentioned they were looking for somebody to take him off the transport. Uh, we weren't able to do that. So somebody else actually took him um, for for a day and um, they weren't used to chihuahuas. And, and the person said, can anybody else take this little guy? He's so clingy, <laughs> he's so, so needy. Um, and so that day we, we walked over, to, went to their house and picked up Tim and tru he truly was like the stage three clinger. <laughs> he, he just had to be by somebody. The, the relationship with Ben didn't wasn't immediate or anything, but um, after a few weeks of being here, Tim kind of um, kind of chose Ben. <laughs> I would walk out and I'd find um, Tim sitting on him, um, sleeping on him. Chihuahuas really are kind of they're kind of a funny little breed. Um, they can definitely be one person dog. They will choose a person, and um, he's silly. Um, he's dramatic. <laughs> uh, he's, he's personality plus. At, at home, uh, you know, we're kind of, uh, we don't, we don't hardcore train, <laughs> train our dogs or anything. So begging is okay. Um, everybody gathers around, you know, at dinner. And uh, I think it just randomly happened one night, you know, we're sitting there eating dinner and all of a sudden Tim's using Ben as a step stool and uh, Ben was okay with it. <laughs> that was kind of like that second level of, of their friendship where it was, you know, went from napping, sitting by him, you know, sitting by him um, on the dog bed and everything. And then all of a sudden here he is like either sitting on his back, like he's riding a horse here in the kitchen or, you know, full on using him as a, a step stool with the paws on his head <laughs> and everything like that. And, Everybody's, you know, there's people who say, oh, poor Ben, poor Ben. He he can get up and stand up at any time and Tim will go <laughs> tumbling down. Uh, but it really happens. Ben is just such a chill boy. The first few times that I, I saw it happen, like I would walk out in the living room and there would be Ben on the couch and there'd be Tim sitting right next to him like, oh, how cute. You know, you never think that that's going to be a thing really. It's just like a fleeting moment. So I started taking pictures and um, I was like, wow, this is really happening a lot. Like, <laughs> um, and then I realized just like how special that the friendship was and um, how um, unique each of their personalities was, but then together their, <laughs> their personalities were just just so so perfect so back in 2009 we adopted ben he's turning 13 next next month he's the best of both breeds um he's you know 50 50 lab 50 percent great pyrenees just so gentle and kind and he, I don't believe there's ever been a dog he's met that he's not been nice to. And really, he just kind of accepted Tim. I, I'm not sure why. I mean, we've had so many other little dogs, but, you know, they go back to 2016. So it's, you know, kind of this incredible little friendship that has developed over the years, too. And Tim is a hardcore napper. Uh, like I said, he he has to be touching somebody something and um you know ben especially now that he's, he's 13 he he naps hard too so oh they're very different <laughs> um tim is dramatic tim greets you with like this <laughs> really bad shrieking sound. It's not even a bark, he shrieks. And like I said, he just has to be touching and held and, and all that. Ben is just kind of quiet, unassuming Ben, doesn't bark a lot. He's just kind of like this old reliable guy. You always know what to expect. Tim, you never know what to expect out of Tim. <laughs> 
right now, kind of our focus is on seniors and dogs with special needs. So I have, oh, right now I have five fosters. <laughs> It is. It, it is very rewarding. And these these seniors, oh boy, it's like the best feeling in the world. And you know, even though we might have them for a short time, um, we make the the best of the time. And you know, there's a private dog beach that's actually a lake. And we loaded up two cars and took everybody to the beach. And um, it was it was a very cool feeling to to think that we're kind of making this their their best forever.